last chance here. And EG, this game they have good... First second war, Sumail trying to run in, dodge that last raise. It's not going to happen. FY and Fenrir just wrecking Sumail mid. He down here with Reflection, and now out comes the Metamorphosis. They're going to go in with the cast carry. I think two, three more auto attacks should do it. There's your second, the third coming out, and Universe will fall as well. All three lanes in disarray. The Clockwork not getting kills, but getting tons of experience off. He also was stacking the big camp for the Shadow Fiend. I don't know if he actually managed to secure the stack, but FY has been all over the places. There's going to be a little pressure towards the Snake, but rotating in, though, is your Earthshaker. Oh, we'll mid lane, Sumail caught out. He got we'll a kill. Going down. And he got the kill before he died. It's so. not a support witch doctor. It's it's something, but it's not great. Oh, it's better than the last three times. Yeah, but actually two. Really looking to keep the pressure up. They're looking to pincer this Enigma. AUI. Uh-oh. This could be trouble. Cask, is it going to bounce back to him is the question. He's caught by the shackles. Maledict there. Rocket to follow it up. And with the, in fact, the Shadow Feed, the one to claim it. Vici teched him early against the ganks, and PPD was just a bit late every time. It's oh just my. one of those things where Vici were just one step ahead of them. Actually losing his tower minute seven. Oh my. And they don't even get the deny. Super a bit too quick. Now your hook shot in from my size size. Universe looking to turn it. He will end up falling. It's a one for one thus far. FY gonna cancel the shackles. Super has a double damage room, though they have to be careful. Sumail running low on mana. Raze is coming out again. They can't keep on losing this. Storm Spirit, he'll die to the Maledict. Will it be enough to turn with the black hole from Yuhei UI 2000? It is. They get two in the end, making it four in total. PPD coming up big with AUI, but Black wasn't there. He arrives quite late to the fight, actually. What a huge... His universe, he'll bolt that illusion off the bat. Now they're going to slow him with Reflection. Do they actually engage onto this? The Storm zipping into the cocks, fighting Ice Ice Ice. Universe going to bolt him. Can Sumail finish the job? He drops that Remnant. Not enough for the kill. He'll jump in again. The raises from Super trying to predict where the zip would land and double raise him quickly, but Sumail able to dodge it. Coming right back in this game three. As quickly as they fall behind... Storm off the map right now. He is smoked. He'll go for the zip. On to FY. Gets Hex quickly. Fissure coming as well. Will hit on two. FY gonna drop here. Zipping further. Looking for a bit more. Does he have the mana to go for additional kills? Doesn't look like it. But again, just keeps on finding his way back in this game. Meanwhile, top lane, the rotation for Ice Ice Ice. Fear has no Omni Slash. But Ice 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 not going to engage into this. These stats are give them some sort of play potential. FY porting in. Going to get the Hex, Shackle, and the wards off. There's and a Malachist, finally though. kill Sumail, though. He's able to zip out. Ice 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 hooking in. Sumail now out of mana. They'll push back. AUI 2000 with the Cogs getting the kill. But that looks like that's where it will end. In the meantime, Fear is going to take this opportunity to push that top lane. A lot of rotations just to kill an Anor. Do they go for two is the real question. They get the Hex off on Universe. Sumail zipping into the cogs, but they have no lockdown. That Zeus salty coming out. Massive damage. Now the Omni Slash. Black going to get blown up. It's three dead for Vici. They're in danger here. Super needs to turn it. He tries to go into Universe. Blade Fury working him in the black hole. It's going to be five. EG again. Out maneuvering Vici Gaming in the clutch. A triple for Sumail. He's almost caught up to the enemy Shadow Fiend send. What a remarkable comeback this has been. Man, that dive... They... Okay, we, we talked about Vici Gaming super high ground just as the Vici Gaming smoke comes out. Both teams might run into each other. PPD in front. He'll get hexed off the bat. Sumail trying to turn this fight. Zipping here and there. Going on to FY. Gets no kills. He's out of mana. He just has enough with that extra magic stick to zip on out of there. They lose their Earthshaker off the bat. But it does cost them the Shaman Wards. End of the day, they're not taking an objective. It's only a support Earthshaker. The five position committed and lost. He's not looking good. They're going to get PPD mid. This is a freebie. And Your Earthshaker will end up going down. Is maybe going to be successful here. But immediately EG the with the response to push bottom. They, they know they're a bit weak in the five-man fights unless they get a big black hole. And it's tough up against the, the Aegis. So they just split push. I feel like EG... Just making all the right reactions. Like, sure, these moves from Vici Gaming are netting them kills, but EG are always finding a good trade. Tier 2 now going to go down bottom lane as an exchange, and well, the question is, do Vici wow, push for high ground? They're holding okay. the wards. Ice 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 going to get caught out here in the jungle, though. They really would like to have the clockwork for the high ground breach, but he is wasting two heroes. Time he's out. Oh, wait a minute! He catches two! Universe and AUI might both go down. They barely oh. survive here, but they're so low. Meanwhile, the Requiem unwound. They have two heroes out of this fight. Omni Slash, not good enough. The mech is making the difference. Then the Sunder. Ward still surviving on the high ground. They go in with the Hex now. They could lose Smell as well. He's got the Bloodstone deny, and he will pop it as soon as that Shackles ends.
Ravens, but they found the opening sent straight onto high ground, looking for a quick lane of Rex. This is a lot to get out of the ages. Buyback for the Zeus, though. It worked once. Can it work a second time? Super just barely caught by the black hole. They're looking to wipe them all. The Witch Doctor going to get run down by your storm, and they've still got a pull left for Super. He walks in. He wants to at least get Rex out of this. He'll get nothing. Pull back. Wiped at the base. A triple for Sumail. That Those buy Zeus buybacks twice now Did have just buyback? saved EG. Did he buy back? It I was only he... the storm, right? Oh, it was only the storm. Maybe I'm just really gearing up just to be able to instantly assassinate heroes. Black, maybe the target bottom, though they're the shadow oh the Zeus all coming out now. Mm. Oh, Black. Black. behind him. He's going past him. He's looking for FY. Can he get the kill? PKB was used immediately by Black Sumail in danger here. Will he end up going down trying to retreat out? He has the Bloodstone deny if needed. He'll be mecked up. Ice 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 having already used the hookshot. Has little left. And in the end, although they don't get the kill, they force out a BKB. They immediately black. And oh, they do get the Shadow Shopping kill. Not the... Not the KB for this fight, and also no mana. He's gonna get a little bit from the arcane boots. There is a black hole, Omni Slash online. Very dangerous to walk into this pit, but they've got to do it. Enigma has a four staff, and here comes Sumail straight onto FY as usual. No hex for you is the goal. Then the echo, gigantic for PPD. Black hole quickly canceled though. They may be able to turn this one. Omni Slash coming through. Brains down four, make it five. The old man wipes them out. BG get run over. The only casualty is that storm. I think oh, they no. hadn't seen the blink of PPD, and he gets the perfect jump onto three with the Echo Slam and melee range on all three of them. Oh, EG's my. lineup, very effective farming tool as illusion-based And normally you don't go this way. Oh, oh super bottom boy, lane. You can't leave dead. the base anymore. Certainly not pushing that far. I like. I see what you did there. <laughs> Gee, don't really care. They keep on pushing. Confident in their ability to take this Rax. They leave Sumail up front. He'll lay into the buildings and nobody jumping him. Unless they go soon, he's going to be the one who initiates. He jumps in right onto Fenrir, blowing him up with fear at his side. The Omni Slash gets it done. Now, Sumail focusing back on buildings. Black will try to lay into fear, but he just doesn't have the firepower to bring him down quickly enough. And now the Black Hole. Where's that hook shot? It's not coming from Ice Ice Ice. There's no way to stop this. They lose now the Terror Blade hook shot, only popping the Aegis. AUI having already Black Hole. What does it really matter if you kill him off? And now the storm cleanup might begin. FY next on the list. It's three dead. It might be four. Buyback coming out from the FY Shaman, but he's got no wards. Oh, is it even worth it? Super's bought back. FY's bought back. And still, they keep on racing it. Do they get the bash on Super? Yes, they do. It's a dieback on the Shadow Feed. He'll pop as well. Ice 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 may be next to Mel. No mercy now. On to FY. No, we'll pass by him for Ice Ice Ice. And he'll back off for the Shaman. Dieback after dieback. Beachy Gaming in shambles. It's a 3 0. EG just won over 1.3 million dollars they are your dota 2 asia championship champions what a performance so good drafting in all three games and the play to go with it they the way they played today fully deserved there was all of the all the three games were so solid it was it was vici gaming making most mistakes it was vici gaming with the weaker draft and Going into this series, most of us thought Vici Gaming were definitely the favorites based on previous days, but EG, they showed up today, they had all the strategies planned, and, th I mean, probably the best series of the tournament from one single team in terms of execution, the decision-making, the drafting, and the overall just team play and everything, just unbeatable.